Now, the front handspring vault that we just finished with video two, once you have a good front handspring, we're going to start with that one. We're going to teach you how to teach a handspring full. It's a very simple skill, and it's very simple if you use a drop arm technique and just use your arm to rotate as an axis. So what we're going to do is have Erin has a pretty good front handspring, and she's going to do a front handspring. Which way do you twist, Erin? If she turns to the left, she's going to drop her right hand first, okay, and keep her left hand as her axis of rotation to spin around. So I'm going to hold her hand up there as she blocks off the horse so that she can complete the full twist. Just a front handspring, drop your arm. Now notice that I just held on to Aaron's hand, and I'll do the same with Tia to keep her arm up so that she won't twist, but that she can just drop her arm and not worry about the landing for the front handspring. Tia, this time, I want you to just do a front handspring and drop your arm. Good. Now, I have a hold. I'm standing on the left side of the horse so I can hold her left arm as she's twisting and dropping her right arm. So now I'm just going to push her back just a little bit and hold her arm up, and she's going to do a handspring full. Pretty good. Now, Tia didn't quite make the full twist, but because I, she kept turning and once she landed, it was a much easier way to get the feeling of doing the full. Aaron, this time I'm going to do it one more time with a spot, and then we'll do it alone. Very good. On your own next. Nice straight arms this time, Tia. Had a girl. Good job. Now Erin's ready to do a front handspring full on her own. I feel like she knows where she's at, and I have a crash mat at the end of the vault just in case. This is a good vault to learn, mainly because if you can learn a handspring full, you could probably make a double full if you practice quite often. So Erin's going to do a, a one and a half twist. And then she's going to go for a double full. Pretty good, Aaron. Pretty good, Aaron. So now we'll try a double full. Now, because the double pull is going to take a little bit of extra room, I'm going to pull one mat off and see if she can make it. With a double twist, I'm asking Erin to use more of a diver's twist or keeping her arm behind her head so that she can make the double twist around or with her hands up because we're only making one rotation. So I don't want her to over-rotate. Good try. As you can see, that vault has some potential. So you want to work on handspring full vaults as a developmental skill. Also involved in the handspring family is a handspring front. None of these athletes actually have a handspring front, but most people know how to teach it with a handspring coming off the horse and then a front tuck or a front pike. Also has a little bit of potential to do a half twist out of it, which is also a, a much higher level vault.